Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage and the Princess. I was not supposed to be working on this today. I was supposed to be outside welding on the uh, C25 camper project because we really hope to take it on a trip very soon. But it's raining and I really don't want to be welding outside in the rain. And therefore, I picked up the Princess. And what I want to do today is not really any work. But a while back, I put in some wooden block to raise the car up. So now it's not dragging the exhaust and the engine on the grass, which is really nice. But that also makes it possible to drive onto the lift because I couldn't do that before. It would simply just bottom out the sills on the lift if I tried, which is not very good. Now it's possible. So today I'm going to lift it up with my lift for the first time and take a proper look underneath. Let's start with checking the bearings and the, uh, the ball joints. The disc is dragging slightly. There is a bit looseness in the bearing. Maybe it can be tightened up. I don't know how these bearings are designed. Everything else seems tight. Everything seems tight back here. Ah, but the brakes are dragging. And on the other side, <laughs> this is the side that is completely without pressure in the hydro gas system. And take a look at this. I think it's normal, but it really feels weird to, to be able to do that to a car. There's absolutely no pressure needed to push it upwards. But uh, I think that is normal when the pressure is out. It makes sense for me at least. Other than that, it's not dragging that bad on this side. But the brakes need to be cleaned off. You can hear all the dirt in the drum. But uh, not bad. At the front, we got that looseness as well. That also seems to be the bearing. So maybe that can be tightened up. I don't know. We'll see about that. Here's the wooden block that I put into the suspension system to keep the car a bit higher so I can drive it around. And uh, yeah, there's some pressure involved in, in that. <laughs> but let's also try to take a look in those wheel arches because yeah, rust is going to be an issue, of course. Well, we can't see much here because it actually got inner wheel liners, so we'll have to take them out at one point to check for rust in behind them. There is some rust right there for sure. Whoop. On the rear, there has been really done a lot of work inside of here. Everything actually seems to be changed. The inner wheel liner looks new. It could just be cleaned up and painted maybe, but there has been a lot of welding in these quite important areas. For on the other side, it's pretty much the same story. There's a bit of rust there, maybe. It's not been cleaned up off in the same way on this side, but a lot of work has been done, that's for sure. Actually, pretty much the entire inside of the wheel arch is welded up. So I don't have to do a lot of rust work on this. Where's my pogo stick? Right there, an old worn screwdriver, perfect for stabbing rust. Some work has been done in this area, but more work needs to be done. <laughs> That's for sure. This is just, this is pretty much gone right here. Yeah, we have some rust work to do right here. I think it's been fixed with with fiberglass or something like that. But yeah, we need to do something about that at least. I think the uh, servo system is losing oil. At least the servo is not working at the moment. I think it's because it's got no oil. As you can see on the steering assembly, we have a leak from somewhere which I can't really see to seem to pinpoint right now. I really hope it's a leak from a pipe. 
but it could be from something else. I don't know. But that's something that needs to be fixed. The calibers and the guy I bought it from actually told me he rebuilt these, uh, I don't know when, but not that long ago, with the stainless steel pistons, so it shouldn't be too bad to get working again. And already it is working, but it needs to be woken up at least. And then comes the pipe. This is the problem pipe at the uh, at the suspension. It is blown at least down there, and uh, maybe it's about to blow other places. It seems to go from all the way up there somewhere, and then all the way to the rear flex pipe in the end. But take a look at the other side right here. This has been fixed, or uh, maybe someone would call it a botch. But this is a copper piping. Then it's fixed, fixed together with a piece of rubber and a lot of uh, jubilee clips. And here is a part of the old pipe. Most likely it has been run right here, like the other side, and then this has been done. This could be a possibility to do on the other side as well, just to uh, copy this fix, because it seems to be working. Of course, I would much rather get these pipes, but I have been searching. So far, I have not found any, and I'm not going to pay crazy money for them either if I find them. But I'm going to try to look a bit more, because it could be cool to just change both of these pipes with the original ones. If not, then I think I'm going to do something like this. But uh, there is a lot of pressure on this system, so this really needs to hold up the pressure. And then this is one of the places I would expect to see rust, but it's been fixed already, it seems. It's really not looking too bad. Of course we got rust, but a lot of it seems to be really bad. Surface corrosion. So far I haven't seen anything too bad at least. And as you can see, the entire jack point is changed on all sides, so that's really nice. And then this big piece of rusty material is the rear subframe with the um, oh, rear axle, I think is a better name maybe, and the hydro gas system right there. I really hope it works, but with no pressure it won't be working. Oh, please, if some of you guys got one of those pipes lying around in the, in the back shed, then, then please, please call me. <laughs> that could be so nice. And back here, as you can see, I have glued a piece of wood onto the bump stop, so uh, the car rides a bit higher than it would without it. And again, this is also changed. Changed. Holes are fixed. A lot of work has been done to this car to keep it alive until now, that's for sure. So of course there's going to be a lot of work on the underneath of the Princess, but it is really not that bad. Remember, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to restore things into completely perfection. I just want to get them safe and sound and get them driving and enjoying them. And this car is not far from that, actually. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Of course, there is the suspension pipe, which is going to be an issue. I hope to find two new pipes. That would be awesome. If not, then I really hope to maybe just do the same as the other side with the copper tubing, but it seems to be a bit of a botch, to be honest. Before I end this video, I would like to try to empty out the, uh, the boot in this car, because there's a lot of stuff. And I took a quick look at it last time, but I haven't really looked through the stuff and I haven't lifted up the carpet in the rear. I would like to see if there's a spare wheel down there and so on. So uh, let's try to do that. But first, let's get the car on the ground again. Ow. Oh, and I'm still looking for air filters for this one. <laughs> because there are still coming crap out of this from the, from the mice who has been uh, building a hotel in this one. These are proper repair panels, really thick grade. 
I gotta say, really thick. These are the panels underneath. They have been cut down and some of it has been used for the rear. But there is still at least good repair panels for something else, so uh, not bad. And then we have the chrome fittings around, around the wheels. They are designed to make the car look really cool and also make the uh, wheel arches rust away really quickly. And I think this one could be... Oh yeah, it's brand new. Pretty cool. And then we have the old Sulena head for the <laughs> unleaded. The spare gear selector mechanism. Ooh, brake pads for the front. Two sets, three sets I think, of brake pads. So I think I'm good on those. A mystery box. Ooh. A princess logo. Some chrome trim for somewhere. Oh, these I think are bushings for the front swing arms. It looks that way at least. Two of them. Oh, princess rear rebound straps that holds the uh, rear suspension from falling all the way down when you lift it up. Cool, brand new ones. A windy windy thing, a battery hold down, servo. Oh, this tells me that the servo system is indeed flawed because this is most likely rubbers for a rebuild of that system. A lot of rubbers. We could end up having to rebuild that. Oh, and this, of course, the fuel flap is missing. But really it isn't, because it's right here. But as you can see, it's pretty rotten. But right here is a piece of a repair panel, maybe homemade. And it fits really snug. So this is just a matter of cutting it up and then welding it on. Almost. There is this this curvature that needs to be done before so, but uh, and then painted, of course. But this is gonna be a fun little welding job. Oh yes! One brand new headlight. Oh yes! Another brand new one. How nice is that? It's not that the old one on the car is that bad, but uh, it's still pretty cool to fit them with a new original Lucas one. One last thing back here is this. This is for the rear partial shelf. Now it's time to take a look. Here we have the, sp yeah, the spare wheel. Oh, take a look at this little switch. I suspect that it should maybe light something. Maybe that one. It doesn't really seem to actually work. Maybe a blown bulb or fuse or something like that. But let's try to lift up the carpet because <laughs> it's most likely run. Oh, oh are you kidding me? It's really looking nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The original jack. A hazard triangle plaster. And then papers, old papers down here from middle fart. People tend to think that is kind of funny. Middle fart. Well, oh, there is a bit of rust right there, but I am seriously, but this is seriously a nice condition considering this is a British car from the 70s. 
which has been in daily drive in a very salty and humid environment until 10 years ago or something like that. That's pretty amazing. This is going to be all for this video. I am constantly getting surprised about the overall condition of this car. The previous owner has taken a lot of care for this car and it shows stuff like keeping the drains from clogging up and all that. It's important stuff, but not a lot of people do it. On this one, someone has cared for it for its entire life. That's for sure. I just really hope that I can do it justice and get it back on the road and keep it as it is. Anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for the support that I get on Patreon. And please keep commenting on, uh, on stuff about this car. I'm still learning a lot about it. I don't know much about it really. Um, see you in the next one.